The strongest Warlock build has just gotten even better with Lightfall. If you're looking to absolutely annihilate the legendary campaign with ease, then look no further. We've got new solar fragments and a new mod system that takes the Starfire Protocol build to a whole new level. The build has infinite fusion grenade spam, which does huge AoE damage, infinite healing through those grenade kills, infinite rifts, which also provide more healing, and now we generate fire sprites, a new solar energy drop on kills so that we can chain grenades more reliably than ever before. So in this video, we'll go over what solar 3.0 build I'm running, the aspects and how I incorporate the new solar fragments, the new mod system, and what mods I'm stacking so that I can reliably spam fusion grenades. And the best thing is that this does not require any artifact mods whatsoever, so you can use this on day one and enjoy the ridiculous strength of this build. I'll also go over my updated stat distribution recommendation now that there are some new changes to resilience and we don't receive stat bonuses from things like Radiant Light and Powerful Friends. Dim link for the build will be in my Discord, link for which will be in the comments or description below. At the heart of the build is the Warlock exotic chess piece, the Starfire Protocol, which provides an extra fusion grenade charge. And more importantly, a grenade kill provides 100% of your rift ability back. I opted to run healing rift for more survivability in the legendary campaign, but you can run empowering rift which gives you back 20% of your grenade energy per weapon hit while empowered every 0.4 seconds, which is insane for fusion grenade spam. The choice is yours depending on how much offensiveness or survivability you want. Thanks to our mods, which I'll go over later, we can get grenade energy back for using our rift. So the general gameplay loop is grenade kill, pick up fire sprite and orb, drop a rift and throw another grenade and repeat. In order to generate fire sprites and gain healing from our grenades, we need to use these specific aspects and fragments, so here's my updated Solar 3.0 build. Touch of Flame is the key aspect here which makes your fusion grenades explode twice and is what makes them so lethal in PvE content. The second aspect isn't as important because both will provide two fragment slots, but I went for Icarus Dash whereby I gain a movement ability for tight situations. I'm running one of the old fragments here, Ember of Searing, which now creates fire sprites on defeating Scorch targets. You can Scorch targets through your fusion grenade, your melee, and even your weapon if it has incandescent on it spreading Scorch. So it's very easy to generate these fire sprites. Then with the new fragment Ember of Mercy, we can heal ourselves whenever we pick up those fire sprites. Ember of Resolve is the other new solar fragment which gives you an instant burst of healing on grenade kills. And then finally, I run Ember of Ashes for more Scorch stacks so that I can trigger ignition more reliably for huge explosions using a combination like a double fusion grenade or a fusion grenade and incendiary snap. Like I said, if you want more survivability, then run Healing Rift. But if you want to go all in on the grenade spam, which can actually feed back to more healing, then run Empowering Rift instead. For our mods, we now have a new mod system with a much cleaner UI, so it's easier to follow on these YouTube videos. The most important mods are found on your arms. Firepower lets you generate orbs of power from grenade kills. And then we run two grenade kickstart mods so that we gain a burst of grenade energy. Now previously this mod didn't work when you had two grenade charges but now it's giving you a chunk of grenade energy even when your second grenade isn't fully expended. This is huge and I don't know if this is an intended change from Bungie or it's just a bug at the moment. Regardless, take full advantage of this. Thanks to Charged Up on our chest piece and stacks on stacks on our legs, we can stack up to four armor charges and get two stacks of armor charge per orb of power, which feeds back into Grenade Kickstart and gives us even more grenade energy when we use our fusion grenade. I then stack two stacks of innovation on my boots so that when we pick up an orb of power, it also provides a chunk of grenade energy on top. So when you kill an enemy with a grenade, they'll drop a fire sprite and an orb of power, both of which will provide grenade energy. And then the orb will provide armor charge, which feeds into grenade kickstart even more. On our cloak, to finish this off, we run triple bomber so that when we spam our rift, we gain back even more grenade energy and we can feed the gameplay loop even further. The mods here have been perfectly optimized for the highest level of grenade spam. Our helmet, we run harmonic siphon, with either a kinetic or stasis siphon, 
so that we can generate orbs of power from our weapons on the very rare chance that you actually run out of grenade energy with this build and you need to use a weapon. And then to finish it off, we run one stack of ashes to assets so that we can get increased super energy on grenade kills, because why not? For our stat distribution, in my eyes, the number one priority here is 100 discipline to minimize grenade cooldown as much as possible. The more grenades you can spam, the more healing you're going to have and the more survivability you're going to have. It's one of those builds where the more offensive you can be it will actually lead to better healing and survivability resilience i now place number two because it is now a linear stat whereby each 10 stat of resilience provides three percent damage resist and not an exponential stat like pre-lightfall and even though you should aim for 100 resilience to provide 30% damage resist, having eight or nine resilience doesn't penalize you as much as it did before Lightfall. And so running eight or nine resilience is very viable now. The third stat to prioritize is recovery so that we can regenerate our health quicker and spam more rifts. Then aim for strength so you can use your melee more often, intellect and mobility in that order. So there you have it guys, the new updated version of Starfire Protocol that you definitely want to be using in Lightfall for all of your PvE content. The new fragments, the new mod system and fire sprites just elevate this build to a whole new level. If you enjoyed what I talked about today, remember to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more PvE builds and PvP builds as we get deeper into Lightfall. I'm Mr. Ronit and that's it for today, peace out guys.